We are here today with our Labs of Democracy project of Aspen, Germany, and uh, in which we bring together state legislators from both sides of the Atlantic, Germany and the United States. And I have one legislator with me right here. Um, welcome to Germany. Yeah, thank you, Stormy. Great to be here. And um, so my name is Daniel Pei, and I represent Oklahoma House District 62. I've served in that position for five years now, and it's my first time in Germany, so I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, and we are exciting um, having you. I'm pretty sure not everybody knows about Oklahoma. Yeah. So where is it and how does it look like there? We are right in the middle of the United States. Uh, we're a state of about 4 million people. And then my house district encompasses about 39,000 uh, people. Uh, we're definitely an oil and gas state. We're an energy state. And I think we can be a good role model for the rest of the country when it comes to taking an all of the above approach. Um, not only do we have oil and gas, but we also have wind and solar. Uh, we're actually second in the country when it comes comes to wind production, um, and 45% of our total energy production comes from renewable energy. Uh, so we've done a, a good uh, balanced approach when it comes to uh, incorporating um, the 21st century technology uh, and new energy uh, resources uh, to have a robust um, portfolio. So the main topic of this year's Labs of Democracy is stru structural change. So I guess what you just told us, that resonates with your experiences and what you deal with in Oklahoma? Yeah, it does. it's happening in Oklahoma. It's happening all across the United States and the entire uh, world in terms of the uh, energy transition that's taking place. Uh, we have to adapt. We have to be proactive and not uh, reactive. And I think we can be a good example Uh, for all uh, of the other legislatures and governments uh, all throughout the world. Um, it's happening. It's going to happen at some point in this century. And I think we have to be prepared for that. And I know that state legislators have a full schedule yes. because you're not just a legislator. You also usually also have a real job or a side job. Yes. Um, you still took time out of your busy schedule to come to Berlin, uh, to come to Germany um, yeah. and to Düsseldorf, not Berlin. Um, <laughs> why do you do it? Why did you do it? Well, this is certainly a once in a lifetime opportunity opportunity. And I, I strongly believe that learning is a lifelong endeavor. And so I'm constantly looking for opportunities to challenge myself to become a better policymaker, a better leader. And when I saw this program's uh, mission about bringing together American colleagues and German colleagues um, and trying to learn from each other, uh, have these uh, difficult but necessary conversations about structural change, and then brainstorm ideas and recommendations together, um, I thought it was awesome. And I'm really um, honored to be a part of this opportunity from the Aspen Institute of Germany. Um, and really happy with the past couple of days and what's been happening here so uh, far. And you mentioned you've been here for now one and a half days, yeah. uh, or almost two days. Yeah. Is there anything which al already um, struck you as memorable or interesting? Uh, I think in addition to the, just the conversations I've had with folks, uh, today's tour of the steel plant. Uh, I've never been to a steel plant before, and it was quite massive uh, in terms of the scale and learning more about the process from the beginning to the end about how steel is produced and manufactured. Um, I learned a lot. And uh, this is a really cool opportunity that I'm really glad to be a part of. Well, we are certainly glad that you're part of the program. So thank you so very much for being here. Absolutely. Thank you, Stormy.